Hello everyone, it's Friday, March 26, 2021, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. The time is 2.30 p.m. And I'm in Union Square, Manhattan right now. In this walk, I'll be doing a walk through Union Square as well as heading through the East Village. Currently looking at the Barnes & Noble store. It's a game of catch being played here. It sounds like we got some swing music going on here too. Really neat to see this kind of stuff going on. Union Square Green Market. This is always a favorite for locals to come by and get some fresh produce, vegetables, bee products, meats. Look at all these herbs here. Rosemary, mint, aloe vera. And this stand here is all about syrup. Vermont syrup, mountain syrup. Excellent. And maple candies too, look at that. Here's a vegan bakery. And honey, they even have bee candles, beeswax candles. But Union Square is looking pretty lively right now. It's always a pretty lively area when I come by, especially when the green market is around. Also an area that's close by to many different schools here. NYU has a big presence here. As well as the New School and the Parsons School. Baruch College is also not too far away from here as well. Whoa! My goodness! Look what I just captured on camera. Oh, you got it! Oh yeah, it's supposed to get really windy later on and I think it's starting. They said after three. Yeah. It looks like it's starting your earlier now. Wow. That was so unexpected. Hey, what's up? Let's hope the wind doesn't blow everything over. I know. Wow. Yeah, take care. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> take care. It's a beautiful day, except for the wind. <laughs> We have a clipboard that's blown away from somewhere. But yeah, I was looking at the weather report. They were saying there's going to be gusts of up to 30 miles per hour at around 3 o'clock, 3.30. We got the Miglarelli farm here. Apple cider donuts, all different types of apples. Chicken and chicken sausage. All for your pets. Let's cut across this way towards 14th Street. 
And I think I'll walk 14th Street towards 2nd Avenue. You can see the building in front of me, Whole Foods Market, DSW, and Burlington. Little known fact, the Burlington is actually a good place to use the restroom. If you go to the first floor of the Burlington, it's right there. Here's the Union Square subway station. And all the chess hustlers. Wanna play, young man? I'm alright, man. Good luck. Well, you can be better. No, nah, I'm not that good. <laughs> That's how you get better. Alright. What's up? Hello. Great to see people of all kinds gathering here, enjoying this nice, beautiful spring day. Let's cross over 14th Street. Let's see what this side of 14th Street is up to. Here's the Citibank branch. Pretty big one as a matter of fact. It goes all the way to this side. Got all the street vendors selling t-shirts and other trinkets. Dwayne Reed store and Nordstrom Rack. There's also a Best Buy over here. This Best Buy is actually open pretty late. I wonder if they have the hours posted on the front door. But I remember going there as late as uh, 9 o'clock and it's still open. Well, it says it closes at 8. They probably reduced their hours. Well, uh, that was pretty close with the skateboarder and the cyclist. I don't think the skateboarder should have jumped the curb at the time that he did. I've seen more and more of these sidewalk vendors as of late. 
there across the street you have a supermarket as well as a bunch of other fast food options and a UPS store also very sad to see people to my right back there just laying on the ground Looks like NYU is renovating their building here. For as long as I remember, it's a recent history, maybe like a year, maybe two years, there's always been scaffolding here. And it looks like it's even gotten a little bit more extensive since I last walked through here. Actually, look at that. That's why they have the scaffolding. It's a large glass building going up. That's probably going to look impressive when it's finished. Here's the ever so popular Trader Joe's, both the Trader Joe's wine shop as well as the actual Trader Joe's store even though Trader Joe's is like a very popular spot for many not all the time that I like going there especially if I need to get something quick because the lines seem to be um, much longer now and um, also sometimes they don't have everything in stock when you needed to. They try to keep everything in stock, but because this is such a small Trader Joe's, there's um, a lot of people buying the same items and they may not have everything you need. Got a dependable pizza place here, Joe's Pizza. Here's Tamam Falafel, as well as Five Napkins Burger. Here's second, uh, Third Avenue. I still got two avenues to go. I haven't uh, made a video on this side of 14th Street for a while now. Here's two buses, both the same route, the 14D. I'll show you how the fare system works. Push to start. Put in your Metro card. Take the card back and the ticket. And that's that. And if you're actually waiting for the bus, you have to wait for the next one. Because I just missed two buses. But I wasn't planning to get on the bus. I just wanted to show you how that works. Sorry if my camera tilted a little bit down there. I had to put my car back away. And here it is, the select bus service ticket as well as the route and the time. But for those buses, in particular, you need to pay before you get on. Unless you're using the, um, the uh, contactless or the chip cards, then you can just tap and pay on the bus itself. So we 
just passed by a bubble tea place. It's a tarot reading place, or tarot, I should say. The last tea sign. Hey, look, if I actually needed the bus, I could have got on the bus there. These buses run pretty frequently along 14th Street. It also helps that the city turned 14th Street into a busway. And um, most vehicles, they need to make a right at the next available opportunity. They can't stay on 14th Street. They have uh, cameras and people there to enforce it. So the difference between the 14A bus and the 14D is the 14D is um, once it gets to 1st Avenue, I believe, it makes a right and then it goes to the Lower East Side near the Delancey Street Station. And the 14A will just continue on to the end of both ends of the island. That's the main difference between the two. So this is 2nd Avenue. And this bus actually has the route wrong because it says via 14th Street West Side, but it should be East Side. Here, I'll show you what I mean with the 14A and 14D. Oh, actually. It is a little bit different for both buses. Both buses pretty much serve the ends of 14th Street. But the 14A goes on Essex Street and the 14D continues on to the Lower East Side this way. But 14A will head towards um, Grand Street and serve the Two Bridges neighborhood. I need to confirm because I was unsure of myself the first time I said that. I knew one of the bus routes was different than the other. So my plan for this walk right now is to walk down 1st Avenue towards 8th Street and then cut across 8th um, Street which turns into St. Mark's Place towards Cooper Square. That way we'll see how that area of Manhattan is doing. Here's engine company five. got a really inexpensive eating spot across the street, the Papaya Dog. Looks like you can get a, a fish sandwich for $5.99 with french fries and a drink.
All right, let's make a right here. Usually these restaurants over here, they attract a lot of people at nighttime. There you have a restaurant called the Taverna Cyclades, which is actually a Greek fish, uh, specialty fish restaurant. They started in my home neighborhood of Astoria, Queens. Vinnie Vincent Pizza since 2003. Petit Cho. They got some nice looking macarons in the window. Me Noodle Shop. Actually looks like a Chinese takeout place. The store is for lease. Vietnamese restaurant coming up, the Sao Mai. Wow, look at that. It's great that this establishment, Sarita's Mac and Cheese, is helping the community. They got a fridge there with free food. I know many people now are struggling to make ends meet and anything helps. I really like that mural there on the corner of 11th and 1st. Maybe a little bit far to see right now, but I'll zoom in. Kind of looks like Michael Jackson when he was younger and when he became older. Ruth Bader Ginsburg mural. Wasn't able to see it under the scaffolding, but now that I'm out of it, you can see it quite well. There's a local pizzeria, Iggy's. Here's 10th Street. And the First Avenue 
theater here. Used to be the First Avenue retail market, but now it says it's the theater for New York City. Theater for the new city. Here's 1st Avenue and 9th Street. And we got here the famous East Village Pizza. Famous for its double stack slice or double stack pie. We've got buffalo chicken on the bottom and then pepperoni on top. And now we've reached uh, A Street, St. Mark's Place. We'll check out how the scene looks like over here. Here we've got Dan and John's Wings. And another pizzeria over here, Stromboli Pizza. I could smell the pizza flavor coming out of the restaurant right now. Alright, St. Mark's Place, famous for its nightlife and many restaurants. But because it's a nice spring day right now, with temperatures pushing in the 80s, we'll see if people are coming out to hang out earlier. That's a pretty neat mural. You get me so high. Kind of looks like a outer space scene. And then you have a mouth here with blue lips. Sounds like there's a lot of construction going on over there. And not all the construction is safe because if you look over here, there's a stop work order at this location. So that needs to be addressed before the work can continue. This little dog kind of looks like a mop. <laughs> really cool. We got the Dallas barbecue here. Famous for its ribs, chicken, and steaks. Let me see if I can make this light. I can't. But what I'll do is I will walk this way.
and just wave to the camera. This used to be the old location of Gem Spa. And now we're on the most iconic part of the St. Mark's Place. Between 2nd Avenue and the Bowery, or 3rd Avenue. Definitely look like looks like there's more activity than usual on a Friday afternoon. Two Bros Pizza, where the pizza is still a dollar. Kung Fu Tea. Definitely a lot of outdoor seating on the other side where all those restaurants are. They look like they're getting prepared for later tonight. All right, here's 3rd Avenue and Cooper Square. We'll walk over to the Astor Square Cube. That um, art installation is called the Alamo. And we'll see if um, it's being spun or not because you can actually spin it around. Got the Cooper Union building. New scaffolding going up here, right under the Cooper Union building. This I definitely didn't see before. Alright, here I am at the center of Cooper Square. Got an outdoor cafe here. 
Here's the Alamo acid place cube. But anyway, that was certainly a very nice walk. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button on me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.